society has gotten more and more complicated in the last 100, 200 years. Our population has went from just a billion to eight billion. The Industrial Revolution has caused a lot of globalization. And the most recent computing revolution has made civilization's knowledge be accessible at our fingertips. Our society has gotten a lot more complicated. The amount of accidental mistakes that could be made that send civilization into collapse has increased. We need to be more vigilant. We need to level up our wisdom fast. With all of these democratized technologies that make it easier and easier for malevolent actors to wield immense power for chaos and malevolence. We need to level up our wisdom fast, fast. How many of us embody that? How many of us know that? How many of us are sharing exactly that sentiment with other people around us? Hey guys, our world has gotten really complicated. We should probably make sure that we don't go through any civilization collapse moments like some of our ancestors went through. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. So then, what do we need to put into place in order to ensure that? Hmm. Well, we need to be talking about morality a lot more. We need to be talking about philosophy a lot more. We need to be talking about ethics a lot more. Hmm. Okay, well, let's put these things in the center of our conversational spheres. Let's make sure that all of the people working on the most cutting edge technology across biotechnology, across neurotechnology, across artificial intelligence and robotics, across all of these pressing fields. Let's make sure that the people at the edge work directly with philosophers, ethicists, and moral scientists. Let's make sure that that happens. Let's make that a priority. The democratization of the technology enables a massive amount of creativity. It's gorgeous how many more people are able to unleash their creativity with these degrees of freedom. It's beautiful. Degrees of freedom are beautiful. They give people their ability to figure out their purpose more easily. There's more choices for you to figure out what your purpose is, where you fit into the world, where the children fit into the world. But the democratization of the positive aspects also comes with the democratization of the negative aspects. And we have to win the wisdom race. We have to level up our wisdom to make sure that the malevolent actors that want to take the democratized technologies and use them for purposes of war, for purposes of corruption, for purposes of oppression, that they cannot do that. That degree of freedom needs to be looked at very, very closely. And it can be completely, completely avoided 
through our ability right now to up level our wisdom ahead of time ahead of time the amount of examples of this about people that have saved civilization from mutually assured destruction and you can look at them people like Vasily Arkhipov in 1963 with the Cuban Missile Crisis people like Stanislav Petrov in 1982 during the Cold War we have to remember these are future of life award winners in 2017 and 2018 like Matthew Messelson also helping renounce biological weaponry that's the 2019 future of life award winner we have to prioritize knowing about people like this we have to share these people with our children to say that hey these are the people and these are the ways that our civilization has prevented collapse in the past we must win the wisdom race so think about that very very carefully Emb embrace those people into our conversations not just the the pop stars and the idols and all that stuff but can we also embody the importance of people that have saved our world from mutually assured destruction can we make sure that with the democratization of all these exponential technologies that we really prioritize morality we promote we prioritize ethics and we prioritize philosophy and we make sure to embed those fields into every single cutting-edge science that's currently being worked on and cutting-edge technology that's currently being worked on this is one of the most important things of our time our society has gotten more and more complex over time it's critical for us to embody this wisdom let's win the wisdom race we can do it together have more of these conversations with your friends your families co-workers people online talk to more people about these subjects prioritize these conversations and prioritize more philosophy morality ethics at the edge of science and technology prioritize it make it happen together and remember as much as we love the competition and how competing helps us push the edge faster and faster we also have to cooperate we all live on one planet and future generations want a beautiful planet to live on and to be able to experience life on think seven generations ahead just like the indigenous elders do they think seven generations ahead with every action that they take think that many generations ahead how do we win the wisdom race and remember that that wisdom that's being carried from these elders for the last multi millennia transcends us our 25 50 75 year old lifespans that wisdom of thinking seven generations ahead of being tied in deeply to the ecosystem that sustains us <sighs> every breath of air every drink of water every bite of food every moment alive on this planet is a blessing is a blessing of creation and to be directly tied into that spiritually is critical and that also helps us get through the wisdom race tie those things together we're building all of these crazy general intelligences and synthetic biologies and neural interfaces we have to slow down and remember the wisdom of the indigenous leaders on the world and the wisdom of the philosophy the morality and the ethics we can do this together have more conversations about this i love you all very much thank you for tuning in